All right, so today we are finally gonna be showcasing the new Tech LR Super Saiyan Goku slash Bird Ku on Extreme Super Battle Road under his own leader skill, which is 200% to powerful comeback. Now, the reason it took me so long to make this video is because I just didn't have him until that collab from earlier today, which you guys should definitely go check out. But yeah, with that said, let's take a quick look at the team here before we jump in. We have, of course, the double LR Bird Coup leaders, along with the uh, Tech LR Goku and Vegeta slash Gogeta, the Int LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, AGL UI Goku, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and finally, the Fizz LR Goku and Vegeta slash Gogeta. And for context, the friend is at 69%, whereas my Goku is unfortunately only at 55%, although I do hope to change that very soon. But that is the team, and on this first rotation, we have the friend Goku linked up with the LR Goku and Vegeta, starting with 180,000 defense, which doesn't seem like much. It's not that impressive, but keep in mind, he does get guaranteed guard, and he also gets more defense after taking hits, so I'm actually not that concerned about his defense. I am a little bit concerned about the other guys on this rotation, so just to be safe, I will pop an Icarus to start, and from there let's target the Goten, that's going to be an 18 key super, and then we'll keep attacking Goten with the Goku and Vegeta, and uh, I guess same thing with the SSB Vegeta. As well so here we go taking normal attacks here for double digits <laughs> as expected first super 5.3 mil which is pretty solid that's pretty solid and this will be effective as well well because we have type advantage but even if we didn't have type advantage it still would have been effective because he gets attacks effective against all types after taking a hit so that was actually a really good look for him that was actually very impressive. Every single attack was double digits. We basically only took about, I don't know, 200 damage from seven or eight combined attacks on extreme super battle road, which is really good. But that also means that since we didn't get supered on the first slot, we're probably gonna get supered on the second or third slot, which there we go, which makes me really glad that I uh, popped the item now. Yeah, here is... Oh, I thought it was going to be another super from the Goten. So there's an additional from Vegeta. That's great. I think Goten is probably still going to super us here. Oh, never mind. He died. Well, that's great. All right. So uh, let's see. So for my Goku, he's starting with 151,000 defense, which makes sense because, of course, 55% versus... Uh, 69% and I think he links a little bit better with the UI Goku he does let's give him an 18 key super as well now this is gonna be without any stacks on his passive he gets up to an additional 59% attack and defense after taking six hits so the damage will be quite a bit less 3.5 mil yeah quite a bit less and also it won't be effective so not doing that much damage unfortunately but defensively still holding up very well of course um, even though my Goku has no dupes you guys will see throughout the showcase that he still more than holds up defensively and offensively do I wish he put up bigger numbers or at least got more additional supers or something like that kind of like the cooler I do but I think for how good he is defensively, he does enough damage to make him uh, one of the better units in the game. Some people have said he's the best unit in the game, which I'm still not sure about yet. I feel like Cooler holds that title right now, but maybe it's just because I have a better Cooler and I'm a little bit biased because I'm more excited for the Cooler than the Goku. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so this is without... Um, a what do you call it without an Icarus active now we have no item effect active 
and he still only took a normal for 4,000 damage, which is like nothing, and the attacks that went up to 7.7 .7 mil, so I think at that point he was fully built up. I could be wrong, but I believe that was 6 attacks that we took, so 7.7 .7 mil, no support, with a 40% support, he would have been probably close to like 10 mil, right? So, once again, his damage output is not bad at all. Anybody that says he doesn't do a lot of damage um, is a little bit crazy, <laughs> I gotta say. But uh, to each their own, of course, to each their own. Now, this is a bit of a tricky situation because I really want to get our revival skill going. I want to see that bird who revival, but at the same time, I don't want to die. But I think I'm gonna risk it. I think I'm gonna risk it. Okay, so let's attack Gotenks, I guess. We'll probably be able to take him out first. And I guess the best we can do is 15 key for Bird Coup. Let's give a super to uh, UI as well, but I'm gonna go for Gohan here. Although we would have had a high chance to crit anyways, but yeah, let's go for advantages and then back to Gotenks with the SSBE, so uh, yeah, we're taking quite a bit more damage here, quite a bit more damage here, but as you can see, after the first hit we took, the other hits were a lot less damage. Like, it does make a big difference. Every stack makes a very big difference. And here is a super, and we're gonna take 149k. Without an item, that's actually quite good. That's actually really good tanking, guys. So the goal here is to get under 59% HP. We want to be below 59% because that's when the active skill, or sorry, the uh, revival skill will become available. So if we take, you know, a lot of damage from the next couple of hits, I wouldn't necessarily mind that. Okay, so now UI wants to dodge. This guy never dodges or, you know, is very unclutch when it comes to dodging, but Right now, when we actually want him to... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Yo, we can get the we can get the bird coup revival. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to put SS... No, you know what? I don't want to break these guys up. I want to keep the two LRs together. So I'm going to put Gogeta in the first slot because that probably will get Gogeta killed. And then we can get the revival skill, right? That's the idea, at least. That's the idea, let's see if it works out. Because if, if I put Bird Coup there, I feel like Bird Coup is actually gonna be too tanky and not die, so. Or you know what, maybe uh, maybe SS, SSB, e, or I guess he's Super Saiyan Blue right now, but yeah, maybe the Vegeta will get killed instead. Either way, we're gonna die this rotation. There's, there's no chance we survive all those attacks, right? So we should be able to see the active skill. Uh, okay, we're gonna kill Gotenks here. Oh, he's still alive, he's still alive, good. He's still alive, excellent. Uh, bird, okay, Bird who's gonna kill Gotenks. Oh no. Uh, oh no, we're still good, we're still good. Okay, so SSB. E Vegeta. I keep calling him SSB. He's technically not SSB, but you guys know what I mean. Um, he should die. He should die. Gohan, kill kill us, please. Super me. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> no, oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Enjoy the animation, guys. This is his namesake. This is why we call him Bird Coup. There's a reason. It's not just a stupid name. <laughs> Although it's a little bit dumb, but there's a reason, and this is it. This is the revival skill, and once he revives, he gets a high chance to crit, and also guard, or guaranteed guard, at any HP level for the rest of the fight. By the way, the reason that we took quite a bit of damage on the bird coup on this turn, on this rotation, was because he loses his guard after... Um, he falls below 69% HP, right? Or sorry, 59% uh, HP. But we get the revival skill. So 
it doesn't really matter because we come back to life here and now let's kill the Gohan. Now we'll kill the Gohan with no issues. I'm not going to use the item because we don't need to. We should be able to kill him with the first couple of attacks and he probably won't super us, right? Oh! Whoa! Okay, we took a lot of damage for that normal right there. That first normal took a lot of damage. The second normal wasn't bad, but the first normal we took more damage than I was expecting. Interesting. Interesting. Anyways, there goes Gohan. And I'm so glad we got the revival skill on, uh, on this run because I was a little bit worried that... Well, I was worried I was either going to die <laughs> before we were able to get below the HP threshold, which is 59% or it just wasn't gonna happen. But look at this, we have the revival skill again. Um, yeah, we do, for a second I was like, do we, do we have that? Do we have that, I'm not sure. Okay, we do, and let's get it, let's get it. It doesn't really matter what we do here. Um, I will go for type advantages still, although we do have attacks effective, so, so I guess it doesn't really matter who we attack with the bird coup. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty excited right now. <laughs> I'm really excited I was able to get that revival skill going so I might be jumbling my words a bit but it's cool and let's go for the Goku Jr. here and finally yeah I guess we'll keep attacking Goku Jr. with the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta oh there's a super this might kill us this should kill us actually we don't have guard right now there we go 931k but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter. We got the revival. So back to back revivals. Enjoy, guys. Bring the bird back to life. Respect nature. This is why we love Goku. This is why we love Bird Ku. And uh, he's an incredible unit, guys. I really gotta say, I love his like balance of defense and offense. His defense is incredible. It's very, very good. But he doesn't sacrifice too much on the offensive end. Although, of course, the cooler is better offensively. No question about that. The cooler is better offensively, and after a couple of supers, you could argue that the cooler becomes better defensively too, but in slot 1, as a slot 1 unit on harder events, there's no doubt that the Goku is better than the cooler because Goku gets the guard, you feel safe with him in the first slot, as opposed to the cooler who, you know, is a little bit iffy in slot 1, at least earlier on in events, right? So, anyways, they're both good. I'm not trying to make a cooler Goku comparison here. Um, let's go for a Princess Snake, just to, you know, heal back a little bit. And let's attack, uh, you know what? Yeah, let, let, let's try to kill Vegeta Jr. first. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, there we go, 18 key super for the tech Goku and Vegeta, and then, a super for Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Taking a lot of damage there for the first attack, but it drops off significantly after, you know, the first attack. It literally went from like 120k to, uh, you know, double digits right after that. And as you can see, no damage whatsoever for the normals after. So... Yeah, he's awesome. He, he's awesome, guys. I, I really like this note unit. I really want to get more dupes. Um, but I'm at a bit of a crossroads right now. I'm, I'm very much uh, in a dilemma, I guess, if you if you want to call it that. Uh, man. I want to rainbow my cooler. Because he's at 90%. But I only have the Goku at 55%. So obviously, it makes more sense to go for more Gokus. But at the same time, I like Cooler more than Goku, so I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. Let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions, if you have any, if you have any advice for me uh, about what to do, let your boy know. Okay, let your boy know. Okay, so I'm going to pop this active skill here. I think it will... Oh. Well, that's my bad. I was 100% sure that... <laughs> Um, I had turned on active skills, but I guess I turned them off. I had like skipped, turned on the skip active skill thing. So that is my mistake. 
that is very unfortunate, but, um, you know, what can you do? Stuff happens. So, I'm sure at this point a lot of you guys have seen the active skills anyway, so I don't think it matters that much. So, yeah, here we go. Oh, we got a, we got a Dokkan attack. We got a Dokkan attack. Perfect. Dokkan attack. Let's see how much damage we can do here. The attack stat is 5.4 mil. And I missed one, of course, because I always do, especially in showcases. When it doesn't matter, right, when I'm just like doing a random run, I'll get all the notes. It's always it's always perfect. But when it's a showcase, when I need to get all seven, doesn't happen. Just doesn't happen. That's life, guys. <laughs> That's life. Okay, so of course Vegeta Jr. is dead, and Goku Jr. is almost dead too. And he's going to super us here, but it's going to be not very effective. Okay, 42k. It's, it's a little bit effective. It's a little bit effective, but it's not that effective. <laughs> it's not that effective. And we should be able to finish him off here. I think UI Goku will do the job. And that's going to be the showcase, guys. That's going to be today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Bird Coup. Um, I love the revival animation. I love this unit as a whole. I think he's really, really useful. Um, and I plan to do more videos with him in other events. Uh, probably on the Cell... Not, not, sorry, not Cell. The uh, Frieza, Full Power Frieza. Uh, Red Zone stage. Sometime tomorrow, because I still actually need to beat that. I never tried again after the initial stream where I died at the very end. It was really sad. And I think I just, just needed time to recover. But now I'm ready to go. I'm feeling good. I got my bird coup. So we got this, guys. So watch out for that tomorrow. But for now, for today, that's all I got to say. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching once again. If you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.